Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be important messages meant to find you. Um, so we're going to see what your spirit guides have to say in regards to your journey and just important things that you need to know at this moment, okay? Um, also, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. We do tarot readings over here. So if you are interested in seeing future readings from me, please feel free to um, click the subscribe button as well as like the video. Um, when you like the video, it lets the algorithm know that you want to see future readings from me, okay? Um, also, if you are interested in getting a personal reading, I do offer 20% off to new clients. So make sure you also um, check out the opportunities below uh, for you to actually get 20% off of your first reading with me, okay? You can join my emailing list on my website or take the Zodiac quiz for Scorpios, um, which why I will also have listed below. And yes, let's go ahead and get into it. So Scorpios important messages you're meant to hear right now um for a lot of you it's time to get to the bag like for some of you financially you could be going through it some of you of course you're not going through it but for some of you you are really actually going through it financially and this could be actually impeding on your emotions okay i know how that feels whenever you ain't got no money in your pocket <laughs> and you just start feeling shitty right and then you just start taking your anger out on people for a lot of you, you need to make sure you don't do that, okay? Because um, a lot of people around you may actually just completely stop dealing with you after you do this. And for a lot of you, I'm seeing in particular, this is a romantic relationship where some of you, there could be just some petty arguments that are about to ensue if they haven't already that is actually going to really ruin your relationship. Like for some of you, you need to be careful of the way that you communicate with your person because... This person may have already been on the edge and then you kind of send them over the edge by, you know, saying certain things that may be triggering or just maybe a low blow. Um, like because what I'm, I'm envisioning is like somebody texting the other person saying some really disgusting things or somebody calling the other person just saying some really nasty things. And in the future, when you calm down and you're not in that mindset, you may be like, oh, shoot, I did go too far. And it may be a little too late for some of you. OK, that's only if, you know that's your situation. I'm only talking to some people with that. Um, speaking of relationships, for a lot of you, there's a need for you to find somebody who supports your, your, um, how do I say this? Supports parts of yourself that are not in alignment right now. So say for instance, you're not a good cook. And then the person who you're dating, they're a good cook. Or say you're not good at like um, money management or something like that. And then this person's good at money management and they're able to give you guidance. Like a relationship should always be a connection where both parties can come together and add something to the other person that they didn't have before. That's what a real relationship is supposed to be. It should never be a situation where you get in a relationship with someone and you don't evolve in that relationship into a better person. If you get into a relationship with somebody and you devolve and you get worse as an individual, then that's not the relationship you need to be in. That's a relationship you need to exit left. But if a relationship is making you evolve into a better version of yourself or helping you have an understanding to be a better version of yourself, then that's a relationship that is supportive and that you could really grow in, okay? Some of you, you need to pick better people um, as far as dating is concerned, okay? And stop kind of like putting higher expectations on people who can't live up to it. Like a lot of times, and I'm speaking to women when I say this, this is a unisex reading. I know somebody's gonna ask me, is this for men? This is a unisex reading, but I'm talking to women right now when I say this. A lot of times women, we do this thing where it's like, oh yeah, he's so cute and he's so this, that, this and that. And we fall for the initial face that somebody shows in the beginning of a connection or even a soon to be built up relationship. And that actually ends up backfiring because for one, anybody who you date in the beginning, male or female, in the beginning, they're going to show you the good side of themselves. They're not going to show you that they're crazy unless they're just crazy all around and they can't hide it but when you first meet someone they're going to show you all the good aspects of themselves or pretend like they're a good person or pretend to be the person that you want them to be but eventually like after a couple months even you really start to see who you're dealing with after a year okay 
after a year or so, you start to realize, oh, wait, this person may not be that. But then a lot of times what happens with women, um, we tend to do this thing where we, you know, still put those expectations on someone who cannot live up to it. It's kind of like um, going to a job, right? And then somebody promises you, like, say you're a manager at a job or something, and somebody comes in and they're like, yeah, I can do this, 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 and this. I can work all these hours. We've all done it. I could work all these hours. I could do this. I could do that. But then when it's actually happening, then you start to backtrack like, oh, I don't want to work every single day. I don't want to do this. So same thing with relationships. Initially, they could promise you the moon and the stars. Oh, yeah, I want marriage. I want kids. I want this. But you're really not going to know who you're dealing with after some time. So stop putting high expectations on people before you really get to know who they are. Because when you have high expectations, you expect things to be how you put it in your mind. And that's not how people operate. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing that there's other opportunities or other doors that are going to open up for you. Um, Make sure that you're aware of the opportunities and also that you're mentally not in the space to where you're not seeing the opportunity for you to be great in the circumstance you may be in right now. Okay. Okay. Scorpios, important messages meant to find them at this moment. Important messages meant to find my Scorpios at this moment. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this person's moving on. Um, they're, they're not, they're not um, too pleased with, like I said, for some of you, specifically you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign where you may have said some petty things or you guys may have said some petty things to each other. This person may be reaching their breaking point. Like, I, I really do see that. Um... For some of you, you need to make sure that you're keeping your mind at rest. Some of you, like your anxiety makes you make decisions that are so out of alignment with yourself that um, you do need to watch that because, yeah, that could definitely um, backfire if you're not in the right mind space to make sure you're not making um, certain decisions here, okay? Okay. I'm seeing a lot of like people cards in this reading as well. Um, For some of you, you may have several like love options come in. Um, For some of you, you may be like pursuing other people. Um, Again, (laughs) for some of you, you need to make sure that you're not just forcing a relationship because another relationship is not working or because things are not in alignment with that. Um, Because you're going to be sadly mistaken that, again, this person cannot live up to your expectations. So if you recently just separated from someone and then you try to date someone else, make sure um, that you're actually emotionally interested in that individual. Because if you just like make some sort of love advance towards this person that you just like, oh, well, I'm not that interested in them after a while, then you you'll be wasting your own time. Um, For some of you, you need to be real with yourself in regards to like this financial up and down situation. For some of you, you need to make a decision about what you're going to do in regards to your finances so that you can have more of a a grip on them. Um, For some of you also, like you may be picking up an extra stream of income, whether that's like another job or starting a business on the side. That may also... um, make you more money or you're hoping it'll make you more money hmm um for a lot of you there's going to be this triggering energy where you're really going to want to leave a lot of things alone okay this could be if you live with your parents want to leave your home okay want to leave your childhood home so that you can live on your own um, if, you, if your relationship is not the way you want it to, this could be you want to leave there. Um, I just feel like you guys are going to be triggered to do things that you may have needed to do a long time ago. Okay. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Scorpios. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you did enjoy, make sure you like this video and subscribe so that you can catch the rest of my future videos. Um, Also, if you do want a reading of your own, make sure you take advantage of the 20% off opportunities I will have listed below for you. 
Thank you again for your support. And I will talk to each and every one of my Scorpios in the next one. Bye, guys.